Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Guft workers transporting plutonium from Texas said it was stolen from car. Investigators find worse. Two security experts went to Texas to hunt for dangerous nuclear materials that have gone missing. The experts are from the Department of Energy's Idaho National Laboratory and when they arrived in San Antonio to look for the missing materials, they've so far come up empty. This is the dangerous nuclear material known as plutonium and it appears that it was supposed to be at a non-profit research lab. It appears that their job was to make sure that the radioactive materials made their way safely back to Idaho where it would be stored with other nuclear explosive materials and safeguarded by the government and protected. It looks like something went seriously wrong as the dangerous materials are now missing. This is bad because that little plastic cover disk of plutonium can fuel a nuclear weapon or be used to make a dirty radioactive bomb. Not sure who would want to deal with that, but it sounds absolutely dangerous and simply handling it sounds scary enough to run away from it. Regardless, it's missing and it looks like someone stole it. Either it was stolen, or someone leaked the information about the location of the plutonium and it was then purposely stolen. However, judging by what the report suggests, the dangerous items could also be in the hands of an everyday criminal who was just breaking into cars to steal things. The report suggests that the people transporting the plutonium left it in the back of their rental car while they slept in a hotel. Not sure why the experts handling plutonium are forced to use a rental car to transport a highly dangerous material, but something doesn't sound right. Just to be clear, this stuff is super strong. Their task was to ensure that the radioactive materials did not fall into the wrong hands on the way back to Idaho, where the government maintains a stockpile of nuclear explosive materials for the military and others. To ensure they got the right items, the specialists from Idaho brought radiation detectors and small samples of dangerous materials to calibrate them, specifically, a plastic-covered disk of plutonium, a material that can be used to fuel nuclear weapons, and another of cesium, a highly radioactive isotope that could potentially be used in a so-called dirty radioactive bomb. But when they stopped at a Marriott hotel just off Highway 410, in a high-crime neighborhood filled with temp agencies and ranch homes, they left those sensors on the back seat of their rented Ford Expedition. When they awoke the next morning, the window had been smashed and the special valises holding these sensors and nuclear materials had vanished. More than a year later, state and federal officials don't know where the plutonium, one of the most valuable and dangerous substances on Earth, is. Nor has the cesium been recovered. No public announcement of the March 21st incident has been made by either the San Antonio police or by the FBI, which the police consulted by telephone. When asked, officials declined to say exactly how much plutonium and cesium were missing. But Idaho lab spokeswoman Sarah Newman said the plutonium in particular wasn't enough to be fashioned into a nuclear bomb. It is nonetheless now part of a much larger amount of plutonium that over the years has gone quietly missing from stockpiles owned by the U.S. military, often without any public notice. Unlike civilian stocks, which are closely monitored by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and openly regulated, with reports of thefts or disappearances sent to an international agency in Vienna, military stocks tended by the Department of Energy are much less transparent. The Energy Department, which declined comment for this story, doesn't talk about instances of lost and stolen nuclear material produced for the military. It has also been less willing than the Commission to punish its contractors when they lose track of such material, several incidents suggest. That approach doesn't match the government's rhetoric. Protecting bomb usable materials, like the plutonium that went missing in San Antonio, is an overriding national priority, President Obama's press office said in a fact sheet distributed during the fourth and final nuclear security summit that he hosted in late March 2016, a Washington event attended by more than 50 heads of state. The administration boasted in the declaration that America's security standards for military-grade materials meet or exceed the recommendations for civilian nuclear materials made by the Vienna-based International Atomic Energy Agency. It also touted the strength of its tracking of such materials, which it said would ensure timely detection and investigation of anomalies, and deter insider theft slash diversion. The United States also boasted about its transparency explaining that it has published studies and reviews of nuclear security incidents, including lessons learned and corrective actions taken. President Donald Trump, speaking to a military audience at Fort Myer in Arlington, Virginia, on August 21, 2017, parroted the Obama administration's refrain that we must prevent nuclear weapons and materials from coming into the hands of terrorists and being used against us, or anywhere in the world for that matter. The Trump administration's nuclear posture review, released in February, 
similarly emphasized the threat posed by nuclear terrorism, and asserted that preventing the illicit acquisition of a nuclear weapon, nuclear materials, or related technology and expertise by a violent extremist organization is a significant U.S. national security priority. But America's record of safeguarding such materials isn't sterling. Gaps between the amount of plutonium that nuclear weapons companies have produced and the amount that the government can actually locate occur frequently enough for officials to have created an acronym for it, MUF, meaning material unaccounted for. If you want my opinion, then this whole incident is muffed up. Why would specialists leave it on the back seat of a rental car? Why would specialists be forced to drive a rental car in the first place? Where's the plutonium and who stole it? Did someone really steal it or did someone sell it? It's time for the internet detectives to do some work, so start researching and see if you can figure this out. It's been missing since last year and no one seems to know anything. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.